Hi there and welcome back to Japan where unfortunately it's a bit of a sad week for Silent Siren fans such as myself as co-founding member and drama Hina has left the group to pursue other things, other interests of her own. So today we're going to be talking about three separate things. First of all, why potentially this could have happened. Two, what's the future for the band? And three, what's the future for her? Now as always there'll be a little bit of surmising some ideas and thinking about possibilities so as always come into this with an open mind. Obviously feel free to give your own suggestions and ideas on what you think would happen and also what you want to happen. So anyway, moving on to point number one. Although this is a sad sequence of events and something that obviously no one wanted to happen, I must say that if one member was going to break away, I'm not surprised it was Hina and I had kind of predicted this unfortunately before in some of our live chats previously, so I hope that that was not me tempting fate, so to speak. However, it did kind of always seem rather clear that she was the slightly different one. Now during the whole COVID COVID period, I was extremely entertained by SciSci TV, as I think a lot of people were. It was really good, fun, fluffy entertainment. It wasn't particularly music related, but it was nice to see a band who so many of us are really engaged by and have such wonderful personalities doing so many fun things. And throughout that, Hina always had fun with them, she always had a smile on her face, but I couldn't help but feel, and excuse the part of me that does enjoy reading books about pop psychology and stuff, but it just always looked like she was the one person who was slightly separate from it. Like everyone else kind of had that sort of cute personality when they were having that kind of fun but she looked like the one who was kind of there enjoying time with her friends but it wasn't really so much her thing. Now this is not to say that SciSci Channel is in any way to blame for this decision however it just shone a nice little light on some of the sort of signals that maybe give us an indication that Hina was always a little bit different from the other members and these are indications that you can also see in their social media. I mean let's have a look at Silent Sirens in general. They're a group who have quite an innocent sort of cutesy image obviously not an overly cheesy sort of AKB way but they are quite cute in the way they do things I guess you could call them family friendly accessible they do mature songs as well but nothing that you would say you're going to put a parental guidance sticker on now look at their social medias obviously you've got Yukaran who is basically very very cute in everything she does her on-stage persona she's trying to get her own clothing brand off of the ground which is doing quite well I must say credit to her for that then you've got Ainyan for all of the beer drinking she is someone who draws really cute kids books and is in love with her pet poo a sentence that if you don't know what that means in advance does come across as rather creepy and then you have Sue who's basically the living embodiment of cutesiness with her high-pitched voice singing style and persona which is very innocent check out the Yoshida Sam video if you haven't already for that but then we look at Hina's whole ethos online and basically what's she into fitness exercise DJing these are kind of different sorts of interests. Yes, as I always say, we can't really judge groups just in their personal interests as they're displayed online. However, these are pretty clear indications, if you're looking for hints, that she's rather different from the cutesy image that rest give off. And I felt that this was nicely highlighted in the very refreshing, um, unfortunately as sad as the message was, departure message that she gave and that I went through and tried to translate as best as I can, but in which one of the key things she said was about the fact that she's coming up to the age of 30 and wanted to try different things. Things. And it really made me think that when she's in a band like this, who everyone, all of the group members re revel in that sort of cutesy, light-hearted innocence, you can kind of tell that she wants to go for something a little bit more mature, maybe sort of taking control of her womanhood, however you want to put it. I can see her wanting to do something different as a 30-year-old woman with a big degree of success under her belt. So point number two is what does this mean for the band? Now this could be a really interesting opportunity. Now obviously they've just crossed their 10 year anniversary and although this is a group who I always say are very interesting on their albums, do different styles of music, they never do anything that completely breaks the mold. They're always basically within that sort of pop rock genre, although they do get the most out of that. And they haven't really had any massive sound overhauls, even when they initially changed keyboard player and Ukron came in shortly after their inception. Now as a result, I think that they could take this one of two ways. They could either bring in a new drummer and try and continue with the status quo or they could take a bit of a risk here now I don't think this is likely but one thing that I think would be kind of interesting even if they just did it as a stopgap between drummers is if they maybe had a phase where they didn't have a drummer and maybe just used maybe electronic beats or something like that now we know there's a lot of groups doing the girls hard rock thing coming from Japan at the moment and I think it's fair to say that even Silent Siren have kind of tried that a little bit also on the most recent album mixed tenth mixed juice however you want to say they had a little bit of a foray into that territory. I just think that that's rather a 
filled up territory at the moment and especially when you've got an asset like Ukron playing keyboard there and as a kind of a fun hype person I think they should lean into the pop a little bit and maybe do an album where they use electronic beats try and do something a little bit with a sort of a dancey vibe maybe go for some chip tune or whatever you know they could really play around and have some fun doing some very different takes on the girls rock format if they were to do that as you know as much as I like Hina's work having a drum machine in there does kind of re-identify you and bring them closer to the pop side of their identity which would again set them aside from a lot of the other bands in the Japanese girls rock scene at the current moment. Now as I say I don't think that's likely to happen. I would really like to see that even if it was just for one album however I think they are likely to bring in another drummer and if they were to do that obviously the drummer has to play live these songs that Hina has done previously. So that's the big question and this always comes up when you replace musicians like that. Do you think it would be better for them to go for a drummer who sounds a lot like Hina who had a rather distinctive sort of disco shuffle style to a lot of her beats as I pointed out previously another reason why they could perhaps transfer over to using a drum machine for a little while or program beats at least or would you rather they went for a completely different style of drummer I must say the one thing I don't want them to go for I again I don't want them to go for a heavy style drummer we've got loads of great bands we've got things like Bam we've got bands coming up like Trident I just think that they are better off leaning to the strengths of things that make them different rather than trying to compete in that already rather saturated part of the market now, now judging Hina's next move is a significantly more complicated exercise. She was very admirably vague in her description of why she wanted to leave the band, mostly talking about age, maturity and wanting to do different things. So it could really be anything. It could be that she's decided that she wants to maybe go out and adventure, explore. It could be that she's decided to settle down with someone she's met. It could be that she wants to lean into DJing or even that she's got a new band. And even the fact that she's been rather coy about what she wants to do doesn't really tell us anything because that could mean that she wants to be quiet about a project she's got coming up or that simply she hasn't got anything particularly to announce at this moment and just has decided to do something different. I mean it is important to remember 10th anniversaries as much as you want to celebrate them as a celebration of what you've been doing and share it with the fans it also gives you a chance to think about I've been playing these songs for a long time especially if the songs don't necessarily match her personality yes this is not to say she doesn't enjoy them but if they don't necessarily match her personality she could be thinking to herself how much further do I want to go playing these same songs week in week out it is something that musicians go through something that musicians really do consider when they're playing those same songs over and over again it's not to say they don't enjoy them but repetition you know familiarity breeds contempt it's something that I think she's probably making a wise decision and doesn't tell us too much about her future and of course I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that she's also got a lot of other strings to her bow excuse the pun considering that she did play violin when she was younger now by all accounts that's not something that she wants to go back to but it does demonstrate that she's both musically minded and musically literate and not just in the rhythm section on top of that obviously we've talked about her interest in things like fitness and DJing and of course the fact that she grew up in Indonesia for most of her childhood and is fluent in Indonesian so who knows she might want to do something travel related maybe start a band in Indonesia there's a million and one things she could do and she's certainly got a very eclectic CV which doesn't necessarily come across on first look but this is a woman who I think we could get anything from in the near future who knows now of course if she was to go in the direction of starting another band I can't help but feel that the direction that would be in would be something a little bit more hard-edged maybe as a contrast to what she's been doing previously but it could also be other elements in that like I said I just think it fits her personality better so if I were to make a prediction I would hope maybe it's a bit wishful thinking I'd hope to see her coming up in another band maybe another band being formed around her yes as I said previously we've got a bit of an oversaturation with Japanese female all hard rock bands but that's not to say they're a bad thing I would expect to see her coming up in something like that and I think it would be a home that she'd be comfortable in so that's what I may be hoping expecting to see next but as always I want to see what you guys think get in the comments and say what your predictions are for the future of her even if you think she's not going to do something along the musical lines what do you see happening next so as a final thought I must come back to what I said before about just how honest I thought that whole letter around her leaving was there was an announcement from both her and the band and you know apart from one thing where the band said they were a little bit surprised about her leaving and the fact that as I've said before you can never tell with these things often they're sugar-coated for the sake of the fans it did feel believable the announcement felt believable and I can't see any reason why she would spite the band it does seem that they're on good terms from everything you can see I'd be very surprised if this was anything other than exactly what it said in the announcement now I would therefore say the positive thing is that does indicate there'll be good air no sort of bad blood between her and the band moving forwards and hopefully you never know you'll see some sort of reuniting between them in some sort of context in the future or at least working together or appearing together in the same way that Silent Siren are friends with bands like Bandmade so I do hope that this leaves things on a positive 
positive note for them and that is as I say where I feel it's going to go but I think that there is positivity in the future for both of them as much as I love what Siren and Siren do, I love the fact this is going to give them a little pause for thought where they have to maybe reinvent to a certain degree. I love the fact that it's going to give us a chance to see that sort of maybe locked up potential in Hina's personality as she tries to do something different. And I think that if there is a good blood between them both, then there's just positivity all around. So I hope this leaves this video and the future for all four women in a very positive context. I know myself. I'm looking forward to seeing what both parties produce moving forwards. So again, I reiterate, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, from here in Japan, until I see those comments and get chatting to you, either there or in the social media, for now, ciao, ciao.